last week you mentioned that you've got you know the, the designs play designs on on your walls excited to run some of them um was the 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 deep shot to alec pierce the deep post that anthony threw is that one of those and what was what was kind of going through your mind when the ball's hanging up in the air that long and seeing that play come together yeah a little bit of a tweak uh, off of something that you know gosh we all do in the in the nfl you know a, a common i guess a common starting point of a play and just a little tweak off of it. Um, they were giving us a coverage that we thought uh, if, if they played a little bit of that in the game, we would have a chance to maybe maybe take that shot. Oh, it's been, I'm sure you guys have written all about it, but, uh, you know, it's fun to watch from the sideline and, and fun to be a part of that. And it's nice when, uh, you know, some of those things work. They don't always work um, where we're, we're we're working real hard as a coaching staff to try to give our guys the best chance every single play. Um, when they work, when they work, you know, pays off a little bit for the team and that, that feels good. And we're, you know, we're fighting to do that a little bit more often, do our, do our job a little bit better as a coaching staff, just like we're asking our players, you know, sort of do a little bit more, do a little bit better, uh, go get us a win. And Shane mentioned that he he thinks that's the best throw he's ever seen. He compared it to one that Mahomes made to Tyreek Hill. Just as you look back in your time in the NFL, is there is there a, another throw that that comes to mind as the best you'd seen before Sunday? It's a great question. Um, I, I try to I try to I got I've, I've been lucky enough to be around some unbelievably talented quarterbacks, and I've seen some I've seen just some unbelievable throws. So I try I'll try not to keep a ranking. So those guys will maybe keep returning my text or returning my calls. But uh, sadly enough, I was at the, at the, I was on the other side of a, of a Hail Mary throw by Aaron Rodgers. That was pretty, pretty impressive. So there, you know, I think in this league, you don't see him, you don't see him like that very often. Um, when you do, you sure recognize it when you see it. And I think, you know, the coaches, the players, the fans at home, everybody recognized uh, just, just how special that throw was. I told Anthony, he's, he set the bar a little too high now. So every throw that's 65 yards downfield, you know, we're expecting him to hit him perfectly in stride, you know, or else we'll, we'll grade him down a little bit in the coaching room. But uh, no, it's an unbelievable throw and uh, really cool, you know, for him to step up and make that huge throw. We needed it, you know, we needed needed some big plays. Obviously, we're going to take a take a few shots when we had them. Um, cool that he cool that he you know sort of ripped that one out there and and uh, had a good result out of it. Yeah, the, the one that came to mind for me was Stafford's throw against the Cardinals 2017, if you remember that one, uh, like 45-yard touchdown, but appreciate it. Yeah, I was trying not to rank Stafford in there anywhere, make him get him mad at me. Jake? Yeah, so the, the Anthony and A.D. Mitchell connection is still a work in progress. You know, after a game of so many near misses where you're, you're right there for being like super productive, how does – the week in the facility, what, what do you do to address that throughout the week? Yeah. I mean, we were, the guys were out there playing aggressively. Anthony was playing aggressively taking, you know, we were, we were, we were taking some swings, taking some shots downfield. You're not going to, you know, in this league, it's hard to hit every single one of those things, but you keep firing, you keep taking those cuts. Uh, we'll keep, we'll keep firing. We're going to keep firing. We'll keep cleaning things up. Uh, you know, a few inches here or there. Uh, you know, from one or two downfield. That's that's how this league works. We're going to keep competing. AD had the the one double move where the guy kind of just just grabbed him just enough. We got the five yard penalty. Uh, things like that are going to happen. The guys are out there competing. Uh, we approach this week like we approach every other week. We're going to show up here and try to put together the best game plan to help us win, and we're going to be aggressive about it, intentionally aggressive. James. Jim Bob, in regards to AR and, and some of the throws that, that he has, obviously you see the amazing ones, you see the ones where it might not be his best. Why do you think he, I guess, uh, can oscillate as much as he does? And, and or do you see a, a theme when it comes to some of these throws where the ball might just be off, you know, even though he he sees the look? Yeah, I, I think each each pass in this league has its own story. And, you know, we sort of go through all these things in the quarterback room around here you know, every detail of each pass play. And, you know, sometimes it's just a, a route we're getting better and better at seeing uh, or or understanding how our guys are running. Uh, sometimes, you know, when these guys are competing full speed, full blast, uh, you're not quite able to finish finish a throw up top. Uh, or maybe that defender does flash 
uh, underneath some things. So it's, it's a little bit of a complex uh, sport. We're all, you know, we were, we were, our guys did a good job of making those explosive plays in the game. Uh, as we develop our offense this year, as we improve each week, uh, you know, we're going to want to be a little more consistent in the pass game. And I think we will, uh, but it's going to take sort of constant continuous improvement by all of us on offense. Um, and, you know, shoot, I, I think everybody's intentions in the right place. We're going to go out there and try to put together a good week of practice. And, you know, we got to work through all the details of a whole new set of plays and routes and, you know, pass concepts and all that stuff. for the for the news article or the or the video clip but you know it really does come down to how do we how do we practice you know running a route throwing that route getting the defensive look getting the cards right uh, so the quarterback sees the look the right way um, and then we're able to go get that throw uh, and, and sort of feel good about it to the right to the left different hashes um, you know this this NFL quarterbacking thing is uh is a is a is a it's a it's a good it's a good challenge every week. Get out there and freaking play good ball and throw the ball where you want to every single time. Uh, so there's a whole lot of work that goes into that, and our guys are tireless uh, working at it. They're going to keep working at it. JJ, hey Jim Bob, in real time, did you see Anthony's foot slip on that touchdown to Alec? I did not because I was watching the route. Um, but I felt I felt, you know, I felt something timing wise back there, but I, I wasn't sure exactly what it was. So, no, in real time, I did not. I was not staring at the backfield when when you saw it. And it, it kind of shows that Anthony doesn't need everything to be perfect to still hit that type of an explosive play. I guess like as a coaching staff, as you're devising shot plays and, you know, trying to generate those, what is his ability to still make that kind of a throw without everything being perfect around him do for for you guys as a staff? Uh, I mean, I think we, I may, I may have answered this one, something I, I may have given you the answer I'm about to give you last week, but you know, Anthony gives us the freedom to draw up a whole lot of different pass plays with very little restriction. And that's, that's very freeing for a coaching staff. I think it's exciting for the, for his teammates, right? It's exciting for the receivers and tight ends and backs that, you know, there's not, there's not a restriction on some sort of movement play or play action play or, uh, any of those little schematic things that we all do. Uh, there's no restriction for us. We just try to draw up the good ones and uh, try to give them a give them a give them a chance to sort of have some space to launch that thing. And our guys up front, I think, take pride in protecting him and giving him that shot. And you know, if he's not going to slip on all these things. Then watch out, you know. Uh, but it was uh, it was it was really fun to watch. And uh, like I said, for us as a coaching staff, uh, we got some good expo markers and good whiteboards back there. And we don't have a whole lot of restriction with what we're drawing up. Last two, we'll go Joel and then Kevin. Uh, Jim Bob, when you looked at the run game, especially the, the JT part of it, I know Anthony's were pretty effective, but the JT part of it didn't feel like he had a lot of room to run. What, what did you see from the, the run game with the running back? Yeah, we were, we were, we were more efficient than we were explosive um, in that game. And efficiency is good in the run game. That, that, that can be a key part uh, of winning football. Uh, I don't have a lot of doubts that the the explosiveness is is coming. Uh, you know, shoot, give credit to our opponent. Uh, Houston did a good job of, you know, really rallying and tackling and sort of sort of trying to trying to trying to attack the run game from from all sides and have some a little bit of extra safety help uh, playing into the box from both sides. And it, it certainly appeared to be something they were they were they were planning to sort of make it tough on us to pop those big runs, but they were willing to allow a little more efficiency in the run game as we went. So, um, you know, there was some, there was some, there was some real good in the run game. Um, and, and we're excited about the future because I think we know how, how dynamic and explosive we can be and probably will be uh, in, in the run game. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep, we're going to keep at it a little bit, uh, keep working to sort of refine what we do and, and and uh, I think the results will show up there.